Some of you guys thought I was being facetious about these awesome voltmeters. These, they're just, no, they're really just that good. So some of you guys were also being like, I don't know about trusting it about 120 volts or something. You know what? Let's see what it takes to light one up. Thankfully, my dad was nice enough to let me use his high voltage transformer. And I'm going to be doing with, with all the safety. I got medium voltage gloves and I'm going to be keeping my hands as far away from the electricity as possible. And don't forget your goggles and a fire extinguisher whenever doing anything like this. Actually, you know what? No, don't do this at home. I'm doing this so that you don't have to. Let's see what happens if we light one up. All right, I have the high voltage transformer hooked up to the meter on the high voltage outputs. I have it in 750 volt mode and I'm going to turn on this variac here and uh, start turning it up. See if it actually handles 750 volts. You can see that this is, since it's a 100 to 1 transformer, it's already at 25 volts. Let's keep going. 300. It's, uh, it's over a thousand volts right now. I'm surprised this thing hasn't lit up yet. Let's uh, keep going at it. Oh man, I'm starting to get nervous here. <laughs> It just will not read more than a thousand volts. It's well now, well above a thousand volts. It's uh, probably around two thousand volts right now. Oh, looks like something broken. I'm going to turn it off now. Oh, I think I might have blown it up. Let's find out. I'm going to go plug this meter into regular 120 volts now. And let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it's blown. It says three volts. Still pretty crazy, it went up to 2,000 volts and still didn't actually cause any kind of harm. Okay, we're on the same meter and we're at the really don't do this at home phase. I'm going to bring it up to about 3,000 volts and see if it finally arcs. Oh, I just heard it arc over. Let's see a little bit more. Oh, the thing really just does not want to become unsafe. I'm only willing to go up to 3,500. Okay, it's 3,500. Still there. I don't see any signs of anything dangerous coming out or anything at all. Let's turn it back off. Much to my surprise, the uh, the resistance meter and the uh, the beeper meter are still working in this thing. So, let's see if I can, yeah. So uh, let's see what happens if we put some voltage through it with the uh, in resistance mode. Some of you guys said, oh well, you know they're protected if you have it in the right mode, all that. Let's just let's see what happens here. Okay, so let's fire it up. It's got to go out two, three, oh, a little bit less than two or three volts. Okay. Oh, now I'm starting to put some AC into it. Okay. We're at around 120 right now. Let's see if it's okay. I hear it making some popping noises. Let's turn it back off. Oh, look at that. It's just fine. Let's try this again. Okay. Starting off at the 120 again. Let's keep taking it up. Oh, it's reading negative 8 point. Oh, it's really buzzing around now. Let's turn it back off. See, it's okay. So I haven't touched the dial or anything since the last one. Let's turn it on and see how many volts were actually on it when it finally died. Oh, well, it was above 200. I'll tell you that. Right over here. It had uh, 720 volts on it before the, final, the resistor meter and the thing finally died. I call that pretty sweet. You can hear the fan cutting on right now. Okay, so we're at about 2 amps right now. And looks like the voltmeter has about 2 volts on it uh, across the leads on that uh, terminal. Doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Let's pull it back down and see if it still works. Yeah, still working. Look at that. Nice 150 milliamps. So I, I'd say that uh, we more than put this one to bed, man. That's a lot of juice and it's still not burning. Let's see what it takes. Is this up? Oh, up oh, there we go. Took somewhere around five amps to finally uh, burn out the uh, the current meter on the the low voltage or the low current side. So let's just test this one. Make sure it still works. Yep, fourteen point five volts, fourteen point six volts on there. Uh -huh, that's yeah, pretty good. Um, or actually, wait, no, that's even better. 14.6. Oh, yeah, okay. 14.5, 14.6. Now, let's drop it. I don't know. Maybe your bench is about here. Okay, let's see if it still works. Oh, yep. 
just fine. Okay, let's drop it from a little higher. I don't know, maybe your face. I don't know, maybe you're holding it up for some reason. Ooh, boy, the back fell off. Let's see if it still works. Yep, still works just fine. Actually, let's put it the right way, make sure it works in the correct polarity, all that jazz. Okay, yep, still works. Oh, well, hmm. Let's, uh, let's put the back on and try it again. Oh, looks like the back actually sheared off. Oh, well, you know what? It's still a usable voltmeter. I don't really care. How about this? Let me try dropping it from above. Nope, still recording, that's good. Let's see here. Well, that definitely stayed falling off. Some little piece of plastics here. I don't really know what that's from. Whatever, still reading a voltage. Let's plug it up, see if it still works. Oh, look at that, amazing. The same voltage it was reading before. This voltmeter is amazing, just deal with it! Well, I'm wearing my safety glasses, and I'm pretty sure we're finally going to break this meter. I have here a container of map gas hooked up to a torch. This thing's hotter than propane. Let's see what happens. I think I'll finally break it. Well, making some nasty smoke. Well, you know what? It finally isn't reading a value. I think we killed it.